Hello folks, I'm Steve Gilly at the Killing Rock at Pound Gap in Pound, Virginia. And this is Stories, A History of Appalachia. Today I'm at the start of the Red Fox Trail at the bottom of Pine Mountain. The goal is to make it up the mountain to the Killing Rock, a little over a mile away. Oh, did I tell you it's up? <laughs> yeah, up almost to the top of the mountain. Get ready to hear an old man huff and puff, y'all. Now the Red Fox Trail starts on a Forest Service road. The actual trail doesn't begin until about a quarter mile down this road when you turn to the right and start up. This used to be the wagon road over the mountain, the uh, main route between Pound and Kentucky back in 1892. I gotta say, this is one of the prettier hikes I've taken, especially looking at those trees. Goodness, those are huge. Wow. Courier Lumber Company also operated a railroad on the mountain, used for hauling supplies up to the men cutting timber and down the Kentucky side to carry the building materials to build the town of Jenkins early in the 20th century. At this spot, as you can see on the sign, there was a Y, a device used to turn the locomotives, three of them, to move what they needed up and down the mountain. Here's where the Red Fox Trail gets serious. Cross that stream here and then start up on a narrow trail up. And just as we start up, here's where a trough was placed for horses and mules to get a good drink before they started up the mountain. There's been some rain last night, so it's it been pretty messy and muddy. The shame old one-eyed Doc Mullins is going to take my $5 right now. <laughs> As you can see, I ran into a lot of limbs and trees down from the winter snows as I went up too, but what you see here is nothing compared to what's coming up. And here's where the Kelly Rock is located, although you really couldn't tell unless you looked real hard. There were trees down all over the place. Now look real close, and you might be able to see the rocks right over there.
After working my way through the downed trees, I got to where I could see the killing rock. Now, it's from here that the Red Fox, Dr. Marshall Benton Taylor, and the Fleming brothers, Cal and Heenan, ambushed the family of Ira Mullins as he came over the mountains from Kentucky. And it was a bloodbath with all the folks on the wagon and those on horseback with them, with two exceptions, killed. John Mullins, the teenage son of Ira, ran down the mountain to pound the way we just came up. It's said that one of the bullets shot off one of his pants suspenders. The other was Ira's cousin, Jane Mullins, whose life was spared by Heenan Fleming. She was the star witness in Marshall Taylor's trial, helping earn him the death penalty. But by the time Heenan was captured and brought back, she had passed away and he was found not guilty and walked away a free man. Now, that stack of wood, that, that's not fallen limbs. That's where they stack wood up to have their bonfire every year for the storytelling festival in town when they come up here to the Killing Rock to tell tales. So back down the mountain, Roxy and I go. Well, it's a mess up there, but uh, at least you got to see what it looks like. Rod and I are planning to come back sometime at the end of April to do a little bit of a story for you from the Killing Rock. So be looking for that. It'll go along with an audio podcast we'll have out at the same time. So until then, they'll take care. So long, everybody.